Hey everyone, today we're going to be discussing the California draw system. Uh, as you'd expect, it does have its own little corks to it. Uh, so try to stay with me. Uh, and as always, you can call in uh, and ask any questions that you do have. Specifically today, we're going to talk about draw allocation, point systems, uh, your fees, uh, as well as party applications. Okay, so draw allocation. This is where things start to get a uh, little bit screwy. So non-residents are eligible for up to 10% of the available permits um, that, are, that are going in the draw. Currently it's about 27 permits, so we as non-residents are eligible for up to two not guaranteed. For elk, non-residents are eligible for up to one permit not guaranteed, but we can draw one tag in the state. Doesn't matter if it's Rocky, Rosie, Tulis, or cows. We are eligible for one permit. So that's a good thing for you residents. <laughs> uh, for antelope, same rules apply. Non-residents are eligible for up to one permit total. Um, then you get to deer. And California had looked at deer and said, residents, non-residents alike, there's no quota. Non-residents, you can have all the tags if you want. Residents, you can have all the tags. There's no non-resident or resident split. California has a modified preference point system where they have a random draw and a preference draw that occurs um, for desert bighorn sheep, elk, and antelope. They're gonna allocate permits based off the total number of permits in the unit. Uh, so if there is one tag available, uh, you're gonna have a random draw. If there's two permits available, they're gonna split at 50-50, one preference, one random. If you get three permits, they're going to split it to two preference tags, one random tag. Now, if you have four or more uh, is when they start to split 75% to the preference and 25% to the random. When you look at deer uh, in the draw, it's a little bit different than that of uh, sheep, elk, and antelope. You're going to get 90% of the permits being issued through the preference draw and 10 permits, 10 percent of the permits are going to be issued randomly. If there's less than 10 permits, there's going to be one random tag. Uh, for apprentice deer, which is basically their junior deer hunts, uh, 16 years or younger, you're gonna be looking at a 50-50 split. For fees and party applications, uh, for sheep, elk, and antelope, uh, where we are so limited on permits uh, as well, there is no party applications for non-residents. Uh, you can apply as a party as a, if you are resident um, for elk and antelope. But for, for deer, you're able to apply as a party up to six applicants. Um, you are required to purchase a annual hunting license to apply. Currently, it's sitting out about $180. Um, California does bump up their price a little bit every single year. Um, for sheep, elk, and antelope, you would pay a minimal application fee. Uh, currently, it's about $8. Again, that goes up a little bit every single year. And then you would pay the remainder uh, of, your, of your fees if you're successful in the draw. When it comes to deer, you are required to pay your application or your tag fee, your permit fee um, up front uh, if you're unsuccessful you can request for a refund, which is basically the difference between a non-resident license and a resident license fee. Um, but you will have to front the entire 300 uh, or so dollars. And again, that does go up every single year as well. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here at the office at any time. Uh, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe.